I'm Lori Allred. Welcome to Inspired by Pinterest, where I browse around Pinterest, looking for amazing crafty ideas from bloggers and crafters from all over the world and bring them to life each week here on an episode on my craft channel. Today, we're going to be talking about cotton bowls. And now you've seen them in all the trendy magazines. If you're a, a fan of Fixer Upper like I am, Joanna Gaines does a lot with cotton wreaths. And where I'm from, we just don't have a lot of ac access to the actual cotton bowls um, that they have or the wreaths. And they are kind of pricey. I saw some at a local fair and I really loved them, but I'm cheap and on a budget. Well, sort of. Um, and I just couldn't justify it. So I went on the hunt on Pinterest to see what I could do. And there are some amazing, beautiful ideas. You can order stems um, so that you can create your own wreaths, which is much less expensive than buying a completed wreath. So let's go check out some of the pins. First, we're going to start in my pin board, which is called Cotton Bowl Decorating and DIY. Um, we have a really fun post I want to point you to at Lolly Jane. The girls over there do an amazing job. And they actually did a whole post on decorating with cotton and I just thought their ideas were magnificent and worthy of adding to this episode. The next one is this beautiful cotton bowl stems. Now she just bought the stem and the grapevine wreath to create her own so she saved some money there. It's at a diamondinthestuff.com and that's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. The next one is super fun. So now we're getting into the more of the DIY. You don't want to um, go out to the trouble of ordering these. You don't have access to them in your area. If you do, bless you, you're so you're so lucky to have that. Um, I'm going to teach you how to make your own. Believe it or not, both the wreath here and also my cute stems over here are made from scratch. So this um, cute pin is where I got one of my ideas from. This one she actually did with cotton balls and pine cones that she broke apart. It's from thriftyandchic.com. The next one um, we're going to be referencing is from ehow.com, and I'm going to show you how to convert this egg carton into this, the really amazing cotton stems here. And then the last one I'm going to show is from prodigalpieces.com. It's using craft paper and cotton balls. So let's go ahead and go into it and show you what I did. So the cute cotton stems here were actually created from this egg carton, uh, or a, an egg carton, and I simply cut down the egg carton into these pieces. And um, then I actually liked, I painted them, so here's the one that's finished. And you get that nice dark color like you would on a cotton ball. And then I actually dry brushed a little black to give it some more depth. Sometimes the stems are a lighter color, so you just decide which is your personal preference. Um, and then all I did was kind of shape them with my scissors, cut them down as much as you can to the, a point in the crevice so they look more like petals. Because you'll notice I have this weird side part. Well, that's fine. We're going to just it was cut this way instead of the wrong way and just kind of shape it into leaves they don't have to be perfect because we're going to add cotton it's going to cover up a lot of those imperfections but you do kind of want that to look a little bit like those stems where the cotton grows out of and I love the texture of this. Now I did read the, the gal who blogged about this. Um, she painted them and then cut them down and found they were a lot easier. These Tim Holtz scissors for mixed media work great. My Fiskars mixed media scissors work awesome for this as well. Um, kitchen shears. So once you get it into the shape that you want, just cut them all down and then I just put them aside and sat there, watered down some brown paint, painted them, and then I dry brushed some black along the edges to give it some depth. Punch a hole in the back side. Um, big enough for a stem to go through. And then I just took some jumbo sized cotton balls. You can pick these up at Walmart, any drugstore. Uh, works better with the bigger ones. Um, so you're not having to work so much to get them. Now they come really compact. I want them a little bit fluffier, but be careful. Sometimes you fluff too much. So for these, I use two. I think they look cuter with two of them in there. And I've never actually seen a field of cotton. It's on my bucket list to see. So in person, we get alfalfa fields around here. So just take your hot glue. And I found that it was easier to just glue up the sides of these, the egg carton. Add that glue, stuff them together, put them in there. And then you can just add your add them to your stems. Here I just slowly kept adding, and I think I want some more on here so it'll look really cute on my shelf. And then that 
you're done. Simple as that. Now, if you don't want to use an egg carton and you want to maybe do them a little bit smaller, I'm actually going to work on doing this entire wreath. So hopefully when you check my blog, we'll have a finished wreath. But I say that all the time and then I never actually do it because I run out of time. And um, the samples are probably still in my garage where I left them. So this one I actually want to hang on my door. So all you do is take some craft paper. I just folded some up here. I've drawn this simple shape. I don't usually draw it. I just kind of wing it. Um, but for sake of seeing it on camera, cut these down. You can use a paper sack, works great, instead if you don't have any craft paper around your house. But since I recently did a craft paper episode, I had a bunch. And then these I like to, you can use paint or ink them. I have some, an ink pad here that we can ink up the edges. You can leave them plain if you want. The example I sh I'm showing on my blog at allreaddesign.net, she left them just the plain paper and I think they look beautiful. I also thought some cool shimmer spray, maybe some Heidi Swap spray would work really awesome. So f once I have these, you can ink them up. I have one that I've already kind of added some texture to. Um, we're gonna take just one of the cotton balls. You can do two, um, but sometimes just depending on how big you wanna make it, so kind of pull that apart. Sometimes I get a little rough with them and start breaking them all apart and you don't want to do that. So I just add a little bit of glue to the center. Shove that there. And then I do opposite sides, add a little glue. I don't do all the way to the tip because I thought it was really pretty when I could kind of curl it out a little bit like that. Add some more over here. And you can even shape it, kind of pressing it down and bending it a little bit. This is the, a lovely project that's plyo, you know, you can adjust it for what you need. And then even on some parts of my wreath where I had holes, and rather than add one that had paper, I just pulled, fluffed up a cotton ball and stuffed it in the space. As simple as that, that's what it looks like on the back, and then just hot glue it to your wreath. Um, I just felt like these would be better on a wreath where these were a little bit sturdier for um, to prop up on stems. So there's two really simple options to create your own cotton balls, and or bowls, I always say it wrong, um, for your own home decorating. So hopefully I've saved you a little bit of money, use a little bit of creative juice, and put together your own DIY cotton ball wreath or stems. So thanks for joining me. We'll see you next week here on My Craft Channel.